Welcome to Deeper Perspectives, the greatest spear fishing podcast. So on this dive, I actually fail to shoot a Joe, but it's a good illustration of what happens when your gun is overpowered. Fast forwarding here to get to the good part. When I tied these bands, I already knew that they were probably too short, but I figured I'd just roll with them. Um, but once you start missing fish and you start to question yourself you start to hesitate and that's the worst you got to be decisive because well fish swim away you're gonna see the joe come from right to left and already i'm having to hesitate because my gun is too powerful so even though it's really close i can't take the shot um, for fear that i'm gonna bend my shaft so i let it get about 10 feet away before taking the shot, which is not a really far shot, but it's a little bit further than you want to try to shoot at a tiny fish like that, especially if your gun's not accurate. Anyway, I end up missing it low. You can break it down frame by frame here. There's your Joey on the left. And that's not super accurate, but you can see I'm generally pointed at it. But as soon as I pull the trigger, the muzzle tips up and the shaft is going down. Two frames later, there's your Joe and the shaft is headed right below it. Uh, especially on the reef where inches of aim matter, you're probably better off powering down a bit. 